Hello everybody, Kevin here, Raptor94, and welcome back to the World of Fall 4, and what the... What the heck is going on right now? Everything's red. Oh boy. Everything's red. Okay, we're getting a lot of rats, so this is part of the Florida Willis the Commonwealth EMB plugin, and... Oh, okay, we're gonna go in. <laughs> All right, and uh, before we do anything, we got a couple of weapon mods we're using. Uh, right here, we got the crude blowback weapon. Uh, pretty awesome looking weapon. Definitely something that could fit in in Fallout 4. It's like some sort of modified pipe weapon. But this thing is a beast once you put it to 308 conversion kit. And man, the damage is, uh, let's see. So it's all right. It's not that great, but it's good. It's good. Good for like a mid playthrough. And we got the dad gun from Doom Base Good Weapon Mod. And oh my God! You you might want to come down there, Satan. She. We got the Callus AAS shotgun from previous uh, videos. And we also got the Steg STG44. The infamous, the infamous Nazi assault rifle. Just look at it. It looks so amazing. Like it does look a little bit too pristine for my liking. Uh, yeah. But other than that, it is a great looking textures, meshes. I think does not come with custom sound. Cause I have a suppressor, so I don't know. It could have custom sound. Who knows? Oh, those guys are not there. Usually, uh, a few uh, trigger men will respond there, but there's nobody there. And we got the grenade launcher as well. The grenade expansion pack 2. And this adds... The, and not only does it add the uh, M79 grenade launcher, it also adds all ton, all kinds of explosive goods. And it's been added to script through the local place, so you can try to build a combo. It's an amazing mod. I haven't really field tested about yet. I only got the grenade launcher so far, but other than that, it adds tons of new explosive uh, to the game. So other than that, let's get this started, shall we? Uh, we're gonna use frag. Just to let you know, I have played this mod attack on Arturia. I have recorded an hour of footage last time, but unfortunately. Uh, I was being a goof goof and I didn't set up OBS properly and, and nothing but black screen. That's all you see. So, and yeah, I was kind of tipped off, so it was supposed to come out on Friday last week, but because of that, I had to delay it. So, you'll probably see this video on Monday or Tuesday. We'll see what happens. But now we're going to be doing a quest mod called Attack on Interior. And sad thing is, it is not a blind playthrough, but I will go do it again one last time. And let's get inside a memory day because it's getting pretty brutal in the weather. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Probably, I am recording this on Sunday, so... Frankly, this is supposed to be my break, but, you know, you know I feel like recording, so why not? And uh, today I will be recording some Rainbow Six Siege as well, because Monday is the last day of free weekend. As uh, the game, I don't mind buying it, but it's still a little pricey, so, you know, you know it's like half off. And with the season pass, like 40 bucks, I was like, uh, <laughs> I was like, nah, I'm good with that. But other than that, I enjoy Rainbow Six Siege. I have played that game pretty much the just yesterday, I played that game the entire day. That game is freaking addicting. It is fun. Like, the tactical the movement and all that stuff. The gunplay feels so good. And I like the, the teamwork too because people actually talk. Well, most of the time they do. There's some matches where nobody doesn't really talk at all. But other than that, I like I love Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, don't play Terrorist on, on Realistic Differy. AIs, hacks, confirmed. Like, serious. Alright, so, uh, enough with the ranting, let's start the quest, shall we? And we got Patrick Suit. Uh, he's from Gone Feral, I, I have also recorded that uh, video too, but same thing happened too, I forgot to set up OBS to, to not capture any full screen application because I am running Fallout 4 in Windowless 
with no borderless mode right now. So just to hopefully get that little bit of extra the performance. Is finally gone. We can all breathe easier without them lurking behind everyone's lives. Thank you. Uh, who are you? And I think you're mistaking me as someone else. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, we are Lucy. That's right. We're playing Lucy. Uh, only because I have did the recent Nexus photo shoot. So uh, I don't know. So you know what? I feel like playing as Lucy. So we we right now we're Lucy right now. And here we go. I'll give you a good look of her right. Just a little real quick. And this. Well, I gotta go into the light. So hey, this will oh, be enjoying good. Enjoying yourself and good. No, not really. Neighbor, it's a heck of a town, ain't it? Yeah. So here's Lucy. Uh, as you know, Lucy is based on Elfin Life from the manga and anime. And this is not. I made her not exactly. Like any resemblance to her manga anime counterpart, only because one pink hair looks good, but the EMB I'm using is a little too bright, and I don't like how the eyebrows get colored too, and it just it looks it sticks out. I, I just don't like it, so I decided to go with the red hair, and those uh, and that's the close I could get with a little cat like horns. You know, it is a death claw horn, but it's the closest thing I could get to. And I'm trying to match her face based on her appearance on one of the concept art I saw, the realistic uh, Lucy. And it's like a combination of trying to make a realism and and also some design, facial designs from the anime as well. So it's, it's like a mix, it's like a 50-50 mix right now. But yeah, that is Lucy. So everybody meet Lucy. She will be getting a killing spree, killing spree soon in the Commonwealth. And I did promise to release her a short film on late July but I'll be honest with you it is not, probably not gonna happen until around August and I apologize for the delay because making a short films are very time consuming and I have to do the voice actor as well I probably can't do Lucy's voice because I really bad at doing a lady's voice so but I don't know any volunteers will be appreciated <laughs> but other than that okay so Oh, bombastic! Yeah, you always complain about this. So here we are, attack on Aturia. This is where we begin the quest. Like I said, this is not my blind playthrough because I have played this, but just for the heck of it, I am going to start doing it. I'm going to do it again, so you guys can see what this is mine about, and of me going to do it a second time. Who knows? Maybe, maybe it'll be a little bit different. It's a big thing's a little bit harder. Let's search the different way to very hard. We're not planning on survival. We'll do that on a separate playthrough. But we'll play on very hard. Alright, and let's make a save. Let's talk to Mr. Bomb to Taxi. Wait, fuck. Oh. Excuse me. Hey, dude. I'm not a dude, I'm a lady. Like the dangerous type. Alright, so I'm gonna try to make her voice. <laughs> Depends. What do you want? And now you can see. I am offering 1,000 caps plus a huge reward for someone brave enough to try my experiment. Ooh. You only get your dues once everything is done, though. As you can hear here, custom voice is voice acted quest and. Outstanding job to the mod artist. I forgot the mod artist's name. I apologize. I apologize, but I will put in the link all the mods I am using in the link description below. So check that out. Uh, okay, okay. I'm interested. Go on. Great. I want to use this here machine to see if one human can access the mind of another through this here DNA. So it's pretty much like what we have to do, we have to go with catalog with the Fallout 4 quest. It's almost like that, but it's a little bit different. <laughs> oh, I want to say that option. Uh, I think I left the kettle on at, the home, at, at my house. <laughs> Fine, this better not hurt. As Lucy is not very really right. kind to, right to humanity in, in general. Ask me a few questions first. 
but her personality is almost very or very close to her character in the anime and the manga. She despises humanity, like after what the ditcher after what the ditcher all that crazy experiment. Yeah, she hates humanity. Like she hardly helps them at all. But she's okay with ghouls though. She adores. She admires the, the ghouls, not the feral ghouls. The other ghouls that are a little bit sane, not too insane, would have gone feral. But yeah, she likes helping out ghouls as well as hanging out with them. Like since they since ghouls are in a similar way, they don't really like people as well. So that's I guess that's a that's why they get along. But I'll explain more of his sub background. So either later on this later on this video, or I'll make a separate video based on her background. Alright, so now we can ask this the larger to start the quest. Good luck. Understood. How does this work? And are you even a real doctor? I sure am. The great fantastic of the Mojave taught me all I know. Now, oh. how it works is, uh, Okay, so at first I thought thingy, it was a reference um, to Old World's Blue. Uh -huh. But he mentioned the great fantastic of the Mahabi. I really hope he's not mentioned Mr. Fantastic for Bonnie Vegas Vegas because that guy was annoying. Like every time I see him, I just want to shoot him in the face. But you can't because I was playing a good character so I could not shoot him in the face. But spoiler alert, I saved the game and shot him in the face anyways. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I think he's talking about Mr. Fantastic from New Vegas. Uh, uh, wow. <laughs> He's not a great guy, so tr trust me. Where do you get the DNA? From this wicked old army helmet I bought. Ooh. Apparently it belonged to some big spy. And luckily some of the trapped hares still had their roots. I'm surprised. You mentioned a reward. Well, this spy dude allegedly had access to all kinds of bunkers and military compounds. Maybe we can get a clear memory and locate one. Indeed. How safe is this exactly? Uh, oh, excuse me. Besides from the 73.68% chance of full organ shutdown, it is pretty safe. Oh yeah, like that's really safe. 73% like that did. is ridiculous. You insane, Dr. Bontastic. Uh, just go to sleep. Go to sleep. Yeah, nothing's going on. Alright, Mr. Patrick, uh, just sit there and relax as. <laughs> oh, okay. At first, uh, okay, there's some weird lightning glitch. He will never notice. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Do you want to start attack on a trivia? You can only return to the common realm upon complete, complete, completion. <laughs> you must talk to Doctor Bontastic first. Once inside, you must follow your own instincts, for there will be no map markers. Your nation has just perished, and you are on your own. So, basically, it's saying pretty much after the nuclear bombs have dropped. You're one of the U.S. Army soldiers, Lance Corporal, shit, I forgot his name. <laughs> and you, objective is to reach to a bunker called Octavia that's supposed to be a safe haven for all military personnel. And unfortunately, there's some complication along the way, and you will see that in a second, so other than that, let's start this, shall we? Oh my god! Oh, I forgot that. I forgot how loud that was. Oh. <laughs> okay. Alright. To see how very hard it plays out. Might get, I might get absolutely wrecked. So we'll see what happens. Because no more is a little bit too easy. But very hard. Should bump the level up like a, a ton. So they're probably like oh, oh, a few levels above me. Alright. Oh, I don't know if this golden 
of pistol. Oh, it does a lot of damage. Ah, the golden 10 mil pistol. It adds a weapon to James Bond, the golden pistol. The man with the golden gun. Pretty much, I think the name says it all. It is a one shot weapon. It's a one shot kill. We'll see. Alright, so. Oh! Now we got some Chinese heavy troopers. Let's see if this is a one shot kill. Oh, yeah. It is a one shot kill. Oh, God. Missile launcher, holy shit. What? <laughs> Get wet! Alright. So this so this bunker is, is under attack by the Chinese. Definitely not a good sign. Alright, we're gonna need to wear our armor. Nice, mostly. Uh, even though we're only a male, we are still playing as Lucy, so she doesn't have the horns because the giant death claw horns considered it as its little headwear. So it's gonna be a little bit immersive breaking, but other than that, we just gotta stick to it. <gasps> Staff Sergeant uh, Brunhilde. No! Oh, 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 oh. The stabber in the heart. Where do I have to the gun? Alright, take this. Alright, so, like I said, this is not a blind playthrough, so I pretty much know where. I pretty much know where it was going, but didn't expect that. Ow. Oh, sh Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, whoa. Okay, okay, very hard. Indeed, it is brutal. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, very hard is definitely more challenging now. So, gotta be careful for what I, for what I do. Because I could die just like that. Poof. But we got the golden pistol for a reason. Oh my god. <laughs> so we can get a, hit, a few hits on this Chinese insurgent. Whoops. Okay, they're definitely a lot more harder. Gotta be careful here. Combat simulation terminal. We saw a course, so why not? Help. Oh, that's probably a bad idea. I have no idea what I did. Oh, okay. Alright. Oh! I didn't know about that. That's awesome. Oh! Hello there. Hello there. Ooh. You know I can hack to you. You know that, right? You just need to to shrug. Shotgun has no mods, so we're in a very tight situation here. Oh, hello there, Mr. Canade. You thought you could trick me? No! Take that fusion core. Lot of dead Chinese soldier. There's no point. I got the, the light step perk anyway, so I won't trigger any traps. Nice. Okay, this leads outside, so we need to wear the hazmat suit. There you go. 
Alright, alright, so it's probably gonna be a very short video. Probably. Oh, okay, okay. Po possibly a one part. Oh man. Look at how fast the hell freaking regenerates. Holy shit. This is gonna be a big problem, isn't it? This is not even on survival mode. Oh man, very hard. Definitely, definitely change the situation. What the heck? Okay, do we got any explosive? Indeed we do. Alright, let's throw some plasma grenade. Alright, one. Alright, let's get a hit on. Oh! I gotta be careful, this ghouls might absolutely wreck me. They're definitely gonna wreck me for sure, but I'm not careful. Come on, Mr. Ghoul. Ah! Alright, alright. That's, like. That's what I like to see. Should we kill this ghoul up here? Yeah, we're gonna eat the grenade. What? That's some bull crap. Yeah, they help for generous really fast. Oh! Oh! See ya! <laughs> nice. Alright, as you can see, we're in we're pretty much in post-war environment right now. The bomb has just dropped recently, so nuclear winter is inevitable. Like everything should be weird, but it is a simulation, so we won't be able to see the the beautiful sight of the nuclear winter. That is where we're supposed to go. I do got some right away we should take. Got a limited number, so we need to be careful. So far, I li like my full review. I'll probably talk about the full review anyways later on. So I'll just shut up and see how this goes. And as you see, there's custom textures for the Chinese uh, laser rifle and the Chinese uh, armor. Like they're like a little rustic red. It looks looks pretty good actually. Not gonna lie. That's something a little bit new. Oh, hello there, Mr. Ghoul. Oh, you didn't, you didn't see nothing. <laughs> oh. On a world again. Boom. Okay, well, you didn't die instantly, so that is bad. Hello there, Mr. Ghoul. Now you're dead. <laughs> Yay, we have level up. Uh, we're gonna get one on toughness. Uh, we don't want to use our plasma grenades, so we're gonna definitely. Yeah. Come on. It's up, it's up. <laughs> oh, you're dead. Oh, come on. Yeah, she your booty. Yeah. Are you running, Mr. Ghoul? Way too much ammo. Uh, yes. All right. And uh, that was is like nothing at all. Subway station. Uh, so I think there was like a couple of 
I think everybody's dead inside last I remembered and uh, since I am using the potty replacer mod there, there is a few burned victims that are naked so I'm going to have to look away like this one right here but luckily it's a guy so we don't have to worry about looking away hello there Mr. Teddy Bear I don't take you there's no point because <gasps> Sweet rolls. Oh man, that actually looks good. Uh, -dub -dub -dub. Alright, okay, so over here is where there's a few burnt victims that are naked, so I had to look away. Unless I'm gonna, unless I want to get flagged by YouTube for inappropriate. Yep, there's one right there. <laughs> Dr. Bungalow MD. Sad. Is the Took some buff jet. Took the easy way out. Oh, there's one right there. 